Hello, music technology classes. Um, I'm going to continue working on my project eight here. The previous video was the setup, and I recorded my voice reading the poem. Uh, you can sing the poem or rap the poem, or even just kind of put it off to the side, depending on how you want to do it. Um, so then I recorded a drum part. You don't have to use a drum part. You could also use loops, uh, but I used a drum part. And so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that. Um, and we should know how to do this. I'm going to try and quantize this. And we'll go to, um, let's see here. Well, first I got to select all. There we go. And the eighth note triplet. Let's see what that does. See, I've got some of these snare hits are a little bit off. So now I think I'm going to need to actually move things by hand. Uh, Yeah, it's a good start. All right, and this should be on beat three. So I'll probably have to go through some of this and edit it, but we'll see what it sounds like here. Let me get some more volume happening. Try that again. Yeah, I'm going to need to edit that a bit more, but that's a good start. Uh, so let's get out of here. Next, what I want to do, so I muted my vocal part here. I'm going to solo it. And um, what I want to do is I want each line to get a little bit of time because this poem is called Fire and Ice. It's got two ideas running through it, and I'm going to alternate between one idea and another idea. Uh, so first I want to find... Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. Great. So this right here is the word fire, and then I do a little pause, and this is the ice bit. So I'm going to want to cut right there. So I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to do four measures of the first thing, and then ice is going to come in right there. Um, great. And then I've got five, six, seven, and eight there. Then I've got this line. Then I've got this line. Then I'll have both things happening there. So that's a good start. So now I'm going to start adding some instruments. And so I'm going to use, um, I'm in the key of F major. I changed my uh, tempo and my key. And so I'm going to come here. And I'm going to add uh, let's see the instrument here, some notes. Uh, if I'm in F major, I'm going to do that. And that can be my fire thing. So let's record some of that. Some say the world will end in fire. And so that'll be my little, you know, fire melody. And now I'm going to quantize that. So let's go to the MIDI editor and select all. And those are all quarter notes. So let's make those all quarter notes on the beat. Great. Um, that's looking pretty good. Uh, I really need to work on this drum beat, but I'm not going to do that right away. And so now when ice comes in, I need to find something to represent ice. So I have contrast happening here. So go to this instrument, and this is my, my clarinet. Uh, so if I was doing, uh, let's see, I'm in the F major scale, which has one flat. No, it's going to sound cold. Uh, let's do like, um, maybe like. And then maybe make. I'll try doing that a little faster. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to record from there. Let's mute my vocal track so I don't have to hear that. And we'll record from here. Uh, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to quantize. And so now, let's quantize that, and MIDI editor, there it is, select all, and let's go to the eighth note. And that moved stuff around in a really weird way. I'm going to have to re-record that at some point. And also now, I'm going to re-quantize this drum part. Uh, 
because it's all over the place. So I'm gonna make those into quarter notes just so it's like on the beat, that would be nice. And here we go. And so I'll unmute that and I'm gonna turn the volume down on my vocal part because it's a little loud. And here's what we got so far. Some, oh, nope, from the beginning. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. Quantizing that definitely did some interesting things. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to copy this. So uh, let's see here. Command C to copy. And I'm going to drop that in right here in the ninth measure. Right? So we have this alternating thing. Then I'm going to copy this one and Put that next. So we've got these alternating things. Then I'm going to do both of them at the same time. So we'll do this here, and then we're going to go back, and we're going to put this one on there. So we get both things happening simultaneously. And then I'm going to add like a whole other layer down here, but this is a pretty good start. So here we go from the beginning. Some say the world will end in fire. We definitely need something right here. Yep. Some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great. Then we get both at the same time here. And would suffice. Uh, it's coming along. All right, so this is a pretty good start. I'm going to add one more layer uh, down here um, with a keyboard part so that I get like a little uh, you know, something to go in these spaces where the voice is not playing. Uh, but this is a, a pretty good start right here. Hopefully this gives you some ideas. Uh, I'll try and do another version of this uh, later on today so we have multiple versions. Um, so good luck, and I look forward to listening to your pieces. Stay safe out there.